Hey, what's up, everybody? Team SNES here, coming at you from Los Angeles, California. Today, Exploit Theory and Team SNES have an amazing glitch for you on Watch Dogs 2. It's how to get outside the countdown barriers. Not only do you get past them, you delete them. So you're free to go out and inside the map freely without worrying about those dang barriers pulling you back. Oh yeah, and the Sky Launcher. How could I forget that? Now, these glitches are pretty amazing, right? Now, if you want to see more amazing glitches on Watch Dogs 2 or the upcoming games, feel free to follow us on social media or subscribe to our channel, as well as subscribe to Exploit Theories as well. Let's begin the tutorial. First, we need to get under the map. The quickest and easiest way to do that is to get an armored vehicle and drive into the water. Now from here you're going to want to turn around and fall into the abyss. Now have your buddy fast travel to you and he should drop lower than you and then you should fast travel to him and you just continue to drop lower and lower under the map to the point where your body actually disappears. Now I would say when your body disappears I would say fast travel a few more times to each other and we're gonna call this person player 1 to distinguish both players. Now have player 2 fast travel to the nearest cafe or a clothing store and when he does he should not be able to move around he should be stuck in place. Okay now back to player 1. He should still be under the map. Now from here you go to game options and you quit to main menu. Now simply just get back in the game Join the same player you were doing the glitch with, grab a boat, and head straight to the countdown barriers. Now it's preferred that you grab the same boat that I do right here. For many reasons I really can't get into right now, so just trust me, grab this boat. Now drive to the countdown barrier. Now you don't have to go to the specific countdown barrier that I do right here. You can choose any countdown barriers, but it has to be located in the water, and the boat has to be able to be driven to it. Now when you reach the countdown barrier, have player 2 fast travel to you, player 1. Now when he fast travels to you, make sure he ends up landing in the water. On his screen he should sink under the map and you get back in the driver's seat and operate the boat. Reverse the boat into the barrier. At 4 seconds you're going to want to dismount out of the driver's seat. Alert player 2 to fast travel to you. And when player 2 fast travels to you, he should not see the countdown barrier and you should get tossed back behind the barrier. Now this is actually easier said than done. It may take you a few tries. Now in order for you, player 1, to get past the barriers, have player 2 drive the boat just a tiny bit so when you fast travel to him you land in the water. Now you are past the barriers and nothing should be trying to pull you back. Now I'm going to show you player 2's perspective on what they were doing during the steps of player 1. Player 1 reverses the boat into the barrier, about 4 seconds he dismounts off the driver's seat, he alerts you to fast travel to him. Okay, we're past the barriers. Notice that there's no countdown or anything trying to pull you back. Watch as player 1 gets teleported back to the barrier. And from here, you're just going to repeat the steps. Have player 1 fast travel to you, make sure he lands in the water, and he should be past the countdown barrier. Okay, now onto the last step. Remember, player 2 is actually still in the glitch where he's not able to really move around and enjoy the glitch with you. So what he has to do from here is quit to main menu, return, join your game, and repeat the last step where he fast travels to you and lands in the water. And now you both are out of the map and you can enjoy the glitch anywhere you want. And when I mean wherever you want, I literally mean on land, in water, your preference. Drive straight out of bounds without any worry. Pretty sick, right? Now one thing you should know is if you die, you will actually get tossed out of the glitch and if your buddy is still in the glitch all you have to do is repeat the last part of the glitch where you teleport to the person and land in the water very simple now there's actually a huge terrain to explore outside the barriers and I won't show you too much of it because I would love for you to do the glitch for yourself and explore and pretty much everything you do when you're having fun okay we're moving on to the sky launcher it's gonna require you doing the same steps as getting outside the barriers but we're gonna start halfway in the glitch where player 2 is under the map and he fast travels to player 1 now if you remember he breaks the barrier right here. Now from here you're gonna have player 2 hack the boat all the way until he falls under the map. Now that player 2 is under the map you just sit there and leave the rest to player 1. Now from here once player 2 alerts you that you're ready all you do from here is fast travel to them. Wait for the countdown barrier to hit 0 and teleport you back and then you should sky launch into the air. Now what's cool about this glitch is that you can do it over and over again as long as player 2 stays exactly where they are and you just continue to fast travel to them. Now this glitch was found by Team SNES and Exploit Theory. This has been my longest video but it was worth it because not only did we show a collaboration of two great teams, we showed two amazing glitches. And now if you enjoyed the video, please hit the subscribe button, give us a like or comment and let us know what you thought about the video. Thanks for watching, Team SNES out.